band Fletcher C. Johnson. Yes? For this is the band, yes. This is the band. You and I were in kindergarten in Miss Lively's class at the Wilmington School for the Mentally Retarded. <laughs> that is somewhat accurate. <laughs> I was retarded. Fletcher was not. At Whitingham School. Whitingham. Boys. Okay, so I lived in Wilmington and we were at Whitingham yes. School. He, did, he has not been there in 25 years. 25 so. years. I drank a lot in the past 25 years. He drank a lot at 5 years old. <laughs> this interview is about my discomfort. He's a lazy boy. And your comfort. Can we change the interview so we're all sitting in this chair and you're sitting on the couch? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. So, anyway. Um, this is your second time in Beaumont. This is- so you came back. We came back because they they got too wild last time. We didn't even get to see the house. It was a blur. Oh yeah, it, it's it's a beautiful house. Um, what we about, got here at five in the morning today? I pulled an all nighter. You pulled an all nighter. All right. Well then, after that, sleeping it all day, or no one else was in Beaumont at that hour. I didn't see a single person on any street. This is true. I live here in Beaumont. And at five in the morning, I'm masturbating in Houston. Like that's a long penis you have. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. What brought you back to Bowtown? An excellent time. These lovely and people and some good burritos. Where where'd you get those burritos? El Salsita. La Salsita. have you been on the road? Philly. Delphia. Yeah. We went to Richmond, but we just watched Star Wars movies. <laughs> and, you know, future. and we picked up Thunder Egg, who is my cousin and has been on the road with us. Alright. Well, Thunder Egg. Yeah, I, I shook hands with you a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I already forgot your name because I've been drinking a lot. Thunder Egg. Yeah, Thunder Egg. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's talk fashion. How you been? So you got this jacket on. <laughs> Judging by the buttons, it's a uh, Levi's. Yeah. Yeah? You buy that? I did. That's a good job, man. I made these, though. You made them out of what? <coughs> Denim. It, it, it makes pants. I'm very a- convincing. <laughs> and you, sir, you have a jacket on as well. When are you going to talk about my sweatshirt already? This is just this is the most comforting thing I've ever worn in my life. My first year of kindergarten we had together. This is your lovely. F- Wait, first year? I stayed year? back in kindergarten, I took it again. The first year was with, with Miss Lively and the second year was with Mrs. Miller. Fletcher Johnson tickled me when Mrs. Lively was reading us a story. And we both got in trouble. I'm gonna punch Fletcher in the face <coughs> when this interview's over. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna do that. I hope he does not do that. No, I'm not gonna do it. 
What happened in Jacksonville, which is my home hometown, is the lake was dammed and created by a beaver dam that was actually made by beavers, which cannot survive a small hurricane. And that beaver dam was gone, and then rivers rushed through my town, and it was really fun for me and really sad for people who actually live in that town right now. Except for my parents were fine because they're on top of my mountain. We've become sidetracked, and I'm sorry. Brooklyn. You all live in Brooklyn now? Like, one of the five boroughs of New York City. What suburb? You know, Williamsburg? <laughs> yeah, it's not really, it's not really a suburb, but yeah. I don't know what to call it. They're broken into things we call neighborhoods. <laughs> Fuck it's me. Like, yeah, it's like a cluster of like densely populated areas. Yeah. Neighborhood. I have an uncle that used to live on Barry. Me and Tommy you, live probably two blocks from your uncle. You and your family has mine, involved you yourself in every aspect of my life. <laughs> this is kind of like <coughs> from kindergarten on. Probably before. And are it's you, frightening. Are you aware, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Sir Fletcher. Uh, of uh, do you, all right. When we were in school together, there was a thing going on. The tickle party. <laughs> there was the tickle party, in which I was quite stimulated. There was something going on at the time that uh, many historians refer to as a cold war. In fact, I think shortly after our brief tenure. <coughs> As students together, uh, the Cold War ended. You're saying you, you ended it? <laughs> no, I'm not saying I ended it. You got it. in there, you said no more. I might be a baby, but I'm a warrior. No, no, I... I and you stopped. I, I congratulate you. I'm glad. I'm thankful, sir. I'm thankful that you have done nothing to offend Sweden. Despite your efforts. <laughs>